Pop, 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 persuadable. What's going on, everybody? So before the video, I want to give a big shout out to this individual who has made this. This is awesome. I really want to start including the fan art again in the beginning of the videos. If you put that much time and attention into giving me something that you have spent so much time and energy into doing, then I am going to give you the platform to shout you out. We all need to help each other in this world. I'll, hopefully, this individual gives me their social media information, and I will put it in the description below. This is so awesome. Thank you so much for making both of these fan arts, and I encourage you all to email me at persuadable at gmail.com and I will absolutely include it in the beginning of the video it's it's really important that we make connections and friends and this is dope congratulations for make for having such incredible skill there are so many people who don't donate their time and their dedication and energy to other people and the fact that you did that for me that is super super inspiring man thank you so much so anyways, this is legendary mode. You can tell by all the profiles being the same picture. And I was super excited. I was like, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to use Mind's Eye on a legendary level. And then the hunter decided to ban Mind's Eye, which was super annoying. You totally know that this individual eats purple crayons thinking they actually taste like grapes. And I was really mad. I was really mad. I was like, I don't know what to do. You know, I really like to use mine. I like the vision. So I was like, all right. All right. You saw me type in a little bit there. I decided to delete it. A little salty moment. But, you know, decided to step it back a little bit. It's like, all right. So what am, I, what am I going to do? I am going to be mechanic. I am going to use my screwdriver in places that you don't want me to use it. Hunter. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good in my head. <laughs> Now, I'm really upset. I'm really mad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I understand mechanic. She's so good. She's so great. She's so monumental. She's so amazing. These are things that women have never said to me when they've seen me naked. However, I was like, all right, whatever. We're going to adapt. We're going we're gonna to kick some ass. That's what's about to go down. And by the way, when you show me love in the pregame lobby like those individuals do, it never gets old. Thank you for the love. I need love, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like a permanent Valentine's Day. All right, let's get into the match. Speaking of Valentine's Day, my outfit looked like a heart. Same color. It's cute. That's right. I'm pretty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get to decoding. That's what I need to start doing. <laughs> now, I got a question for you all. It's a real question, and it's an honest question, and I need you to look into your lives and think back. Has there ever been a moment where you thought things were going too good, and that they were going too good that something had to happen to screw everything up? No, I mean, you might be in a relationship with the woman or man of your dreams, and things are going so great, you're like, all right, when is this going to kind of hit the fan, Right. Or you're doing good in school and you got amazing grades and you're like, all right, what's going to happen? Is the professor going to accuse me of cheating when I was just really looking around? So I had this weird feeling that this was going to happen. So I put the doll down, right? And so that's one of the strategies with mechanic. When you get that thing to 50%, you use the doll. And that's what happened. So I'm using the doll and I had that weird feeling, man. And I was just like, I was like, I don't even feel like kiting with the doll because I feel like I'm, I'm in the wide open. It's easy for him to find me if I try to loop through those windows. I could have wasted part of his time. So maybe I should have cut it a little bit with the doll right there. I would actually chalk that up as a little bit of a mistake. But it's whatever. We'll bounce back. And so me, me and the other player here, <laughs> like, what's going on? I was like, all right. He's coming after me. I wasn't sure if he was going to come this way. And let's see what we can do. And you can actually tell that I've been playing mind type because I was afraid to run because I have no vision of him. So I decided to just wait by this pallet and go for the stun. I figured I was a uh, far far enough advance uh, between distances where he wouldn't expect that. You know, sometimes they'll just randomly swing through the pallet. Um, but I decided to take a, a chance here. Now, this is what it, I'm kind of exploring in this area to do different things. But I was like, hey, juke one. 
Juke to! <laughs> I'm so annoying. I am so annoying. Oh. So anyways, yeah, so I've been kind of exploring different routes in here because, you know, I'm going down and right on my persona build. And with Mind's Eye, I like to go left and right um, just because Mechanic has a little bit more adaptability in terms of her ability to use her doll. So sometimes what I can do with Mind Eye is not the same things I can do with Mechanic. But I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, we're just going to keep using this area and we'll see how long we can last for. And we'll keep circling around. I can see that the fence is over there. And I'm going to work my way over towards this pallet. I think that I have enough time. He's going to think that I'm running away. And then, so I actually call that the hook shot. Now, the hook shot is a very specific kiting ability where what you do is, I'll make a video on this, but it's really specific where you try to mislead the hunter thinking you're running away. You hook back. And then you stun him. All right, watch this. I totally screw up here. I put the puppet down. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like, all right, use the puppet. And he actually used the puppet. <laughs> now, to say this as professionally as possible, if I was the hunter, I definitely would stick my Squidward's nose in an electrical socket. <laughs> I'd be so mad. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so he's got me all dazed and confused. Remember my Bill Cosby joke? When, yeah, okay. So that's where I'm at. So they popped the cypher, but <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to move my character. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to move my character, so I'm just kind of all dazed and confused, kind of like when you act, yeah. This is probably like when my parents conceived me. But either way, <laughs> I tried, and that's all that matters in this world. Now, do not fret. I do not die in the rocket chair. However, since there is time to talk about more important things than the jokes and the stupid humor that I encompass within these videos, I want to remind everybody that you are loved and cherished in this world when you actually believe that you do not have any significant value and that there is nobody in this world that would appreciate your time and comfort. Just understand that mathematically it's extremely improbable when there are seven to seven and a half billion people in this world. I can absolutely assure you that the idea and the notion that you bring no value to any of them in this world is nearly or probably statistically improbable. So you remember that if you feel like you are insignificant and you cannot bring something to the table and that there is nobody in this world that loves you, I can absolutely assure you that the individual who has defeated you, you bring them to me face to face and I will learn and teach you how to kite them. Now, it's time to survive. Let's go, baby. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of like a straight sort of uh, easy victory where I get to the door. I want to give a big shout out to my team for understanding, hey, maybe I should go rescue him because it looks like the Wu Chain cut him off and he was able to kind of backtrack and come and rescue me. And that's really significant for me because we're able to get a four man or woman victory, which is super, super awesome and is based on good teamwork and me just not really getting my doll down and <laughs> dancing. I'd be dancing with my doll because girls don't want to dance with me. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. Y'all stay beautiful, you beautiful mother. Bye-bye. <laughs>